Unify. Inspire. Act. This is Detroit 2020. The battle over Sharia law is happening right here, right now in Michigan. Sharia law is the code of conduct followed by Muslims covering everything from crime to prayer. Now here in the U.S., many Muslims use Sharia law within their own family, but there is concern among some that it could go beyond that. It is a touchy subject, but tonight we're going to examine both sides of this issue. And we're joined right now by State Representative Harvey Santana from Detroit and Representative Tom McMillan from Rochester Hills. And gentlemen, thank you both for joining us and representing two different sides of this argument. Thank you yeah, for having us. appreciate yeah, you being thanks. here. So, Representative <coughs> McMillan, let's start with you. So, sure. so why now? Why do we need Sharia law. We know 25 other states are doing this very same thing. I mean, is Sharia law a threat to Michigan? Well, it's certainly not about Sharia law. It's about foreign law. So, uh, you know, some jumped up and, and tried to suggest what I was wanting to do with this law, and it's not at all. I mean, there are uh, countries that don't have the same First Amendment protections that we have in Europe. Uh, you know, there's, uh, but there was a, a judge here recently that ruled that a divorce uh, could occur because a guy went back to India and said a sentence three times and uh, the wife here in Michigan uh you know, was not given any due process. Uh, he ruled she had to spend money to go appeal it. Thankfully, at least a majority of the three on the Court of Appeals disagreed with the lower court, or else she would have had to spend more money and maybe taken her chances at the Supreme Court. Representative Santana, is there any threat that, that American law is going to be usurped by a foreign law? Uh, is there a need for this bill? No, because there's a piece of paper in Washington, D.C. called the Constitution of the United States that is the supreme law of the land. So what I believe this is is not a legal argument it's not a legal problem what this is is a political attempt by members of his party and the far right to create excitement and incite people to vote in the next upcoming elections and what I think is most unfortunate about this whole deal is that when Governor Granholm was the governor, when John Engler was the governor, when Governor Blanchard was the governor, when Democrats controlled the Senate and the House, this was never an issue. All of a sudden, the Tea Party shows up to town, and all of a sudden, now we're talking about legislation that is dividing people instead of talking about rebounding Michigan's economy. Again, Mr. McMillan, so why now? I mean, especially here in Michigan, where the Arab community has been accepted for so many years. I mean, is there a possibility that this bill will become law? And what are your constituents saying about it? Well, like I said, for um, what was her name, Mrs. Uh, Tinjara, I mean, it certainly was a concern. And this would have helped her, uh, saved her money. And also, you know, the judges at the Court of Appeals, thankfully, there were two on there that agreed or disagreed with the lower court. But they could have agreed, and she would have had to go on the Supreme Court. We are merely saying, it's our job to say what is public policy. If public policy disagrees uh, with foreign law, then we're just instructing the courts this is what you must follow is American law. So again, you're not talking about Sharia no, law, you're just talking not. about and, foreign yeah, law? Yeah, and it's pretty offensive that people like Representative here just uh, assumes he knows what I'm thinking and what others are thinking. Uh, pretty offensive. Actually, the only people dividing it are people like himself and a few others that uh, are upset about a real reasonable law that had no problem in other states, Tennessee, Louisiana, others that have passed it and signed into law. Is your well, colleague masking what's going on here? Well, what's offensive is the fact that here we are, and I, I thought you were a Republican, I thought you hated big government. Here you go with a big government solution shoving it down the throats of people when in fact there is no problem and for people to take Sharia and misinterpret it as a law Sharia is a guiding principle in Muslim and Islamic faith it's a code that people use to guide them and to show them how to become better Muslims that's all it is and what your party is trying to do is take this make this imaginary problem put it into the hands of heads of people and scare people that's what this all comes down to and again I ask the question, how does this bring people together? I, I can show you an example how it's tearing people apart because we just had a press conference and nobody w was happy about the introduction of this law. Again, it was never a problem in past legislation and past legislative sessions, but now all of a sudden it becomes a problem because you have a far right conservative government that has taken control. Mr. McMillan, how do you respond to that, especially again here in Michigan where the yeah. Muslim community has really gotten along with but again, it has nothing to do with Muslims, and it's unfortunate that he's really stirring up this vitriol. Like, I think a lot of times, you know, elections are coming next year, and him and his uh, folks need to really stir up the, the pod and make it so that they think Wait a minute. That First they, of so all, we didn't, we didn't ones, introduce this. So you they, guys did. Well, and to quote Governor Chris Christie from New Jersey, a Republican just like you, 
He said, and, and I'll paraphrase it, this is a bunch of garbage. And I'm tired of listening to the crazies of the craziness. This is all craziness. Well, so you got guys in your party that agree with guys like my party. I call that bipartisanship. Do you think this is going to pass? I just want to ask you, do you think this can pass? Uh, I think it definitely. It has 40 uh, co-sponsors uh, from conservatives to moderates. And what uh, are you going to do if it passes that? Well, I'm sure there's a legal process to overcome this, but let me be clear. It has 40 sponsors that are all Republican. Not one Democrat signed on to this thing because, you know, we're the party of sanity while these guys are trying to tear the place apart. <laughs> we can hold on a whole other debate on that one. Absolutely. Wow. We know 25 states are looking at this. You said two states have passed it in right, the Right, and so there's far. been no challenges. Uh, this is just very reasonable, common sense, and they're just stirring things up fine and just... Accusing and being divisive is what they're doing. Well, we appreciate both of you coming in and sharing sure. your thoughts.